Today's lesson is lesson 12, solve multi-step word problems using the standard edition algorithm and assess the reasonableness of answers using rounding. So what we're going to do today is we're going to take a look at some word problems and we're actually going to break them down. There's going to be more than one step to these word problems. We're going to break them down and we are going to use our addition algorithm like we learned yesterday to solve our answers. And then we're also going to assess the reasonableness reasonableness using rounding. What does that mean? That just basically means does my answer make sense? Is it a reasonable answer? Will it work? So my directions are estimate and then solve each problem. This is question one from our problem set today so follow along as we're doing this problem. It says for the bake sale Connie baked 144 cookies. Esther baked 49 more cookies than Connie. Letter A about how many cookies did Connie and Esther bake? Estimate by rounding each number to the nearest 10 before adding. So what we're going to use to solve this is what's called a tape diagram. We learned about it in class yesterday, so let's go ahead and we're going to create a tape diagram. But before we do, let's underline our important information. So for the bake sale, Connie baked 144 cookies. That's important that Connie baked 144 cookies. Then it says, Esther baked 49 more cookies than Connie. Let me underline that as well. More cookies than Connie. Letter A. It says about how many cookies did Connie and Esther bake? Well, seeing this word about tells me I'm not looking for an exact number. I'm looking for an estimated number because it says about. If I want to know exactly how many, it would either say just how many cookies did co Connie and Esther bake or exactly how many. So it says just the word about, so that means we're going to estimate and it tells me to estimate by rounding each number to the nearest 10. So round each number to the nearest 10. So let's go ahead and take a look here. Let's use our tape diagram. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a look at Connie. I'm going to write her name right here. Connie. I'm going to create a tape diagram for Connie. Does it tell me how many cookies she baked? Yes, it says she baked 144 cookies. So let me draw my piece of tape and on my piece of tape I'm going to write 144. That stands for the exact number that Connie baked. Now I'm going to draw a tape diagram for Esther. Let me go ahead and write her name here. Esther. And it says that Esther baked 49 more cookies than Connie. So that means she baked Connie's cookies I'm going to draw a piece of tape here for Connie's cookies. And then she baked an additional 49 more. So that means that she round or that she added on 49 more cookies. So I'm going to add on another piece of tape. And I'm going to put 49 in there because that tells me how many more cookies she baked. She baked more than Connie, so that means she should have a bigger tape diagram than Connie. So now it says, about how many cookies did Connie and Esther baked? Estimate by rounding each number to the nearest 10. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take Connie's cookies and I'm going to round that to the nearest 10. I know to round, I want to use my vertical number line. So I'm going to draw a small vertical number line. And it says to the nearest 10. So I'm going to look at my 10s. I have 14 10s. So that's going to go on my bottom here. 140 would be the same as 14 10s. What's my next number of tens? 15. So I'm going to put 15 tens or 150 up at the top. Now by now, I'm getting pretty good at the midway point. If you're not sure, you can always use your midway point diagram to draw it. But we know that the midway point between 140 and 150 is 145. So now let me think, where would 144 go? It would go below 145, but above 140. It's right underneath 145. So I'm going to put it right there. So which one is it closer to? Is it closer to 14 tens or 15 tens? It's closer to 14 tens. So Connie's 140 cook, 44 cookies is about, remember that's what that squiggly equal sign means, 140 cookies. It's about, we're estimating. So I know that this right here is about 140 cookies. So I'm going to put one about 140. Now I'm going to estimate 49 to the nearest 50, uh, to the nearest 10. 
And so I'm going to put my next vertical number line at 4 in the 10, so that could be 40 or 50. My midway point is 45. And where would 49 fit right here? Well, 49 is just below 50, so 49 would be right here. So that would round to 50. So 49 is about 50. We'll put that right in there, about 50. Now, I estimated each one, 144 and 49. So to figure out how many Esther rounds to, how many about cookies she has, almost how many cookies that she has, I'll add 140 plus 50. So I'm going to put 140 plus 50. Remember, I'm going to line my numbers up. My ones with my ones, my tens with my tens. 0 plus 0 is 0. 4 plus 5 is 9. And I drop my one down. So Esther baked about 190 cookies. Now I want to know about how many cookies did Connie and Esther bake. So that means combine their average, their estimates together. So Connie baked about 140. Esther baked about 190. I need to add those two up. So let me scoot over here and add 140 plus 190. I'm going to make sure I write my operation down my plus sign. And now all I need to do is simply add them. 0 plus 0 is 0. I move over to my tens place. 4 plus 9. My 9, I count up 4. I get to 13. 3 down, 1 up top. Remember, Mr. Messina likes to put his plus on you so he doesn't forget what he's doing. 1 plus 1 is 2, and 2 plus 1 is 3. Now, we need to restate. So, they baked about 330 cookies, but I don't want to just write they. I want to write their names so I know exactly who they are. So, when I'm restating, I'm going to write Connie and Esther. Is it an exact answer? No. It's an about answer. So I'm going to make sure I put the word about because it's not an exact answer. So Connie and Esther baked about 330 cookies. Okay, go ahead copy that down. If you didn't follow along with us, go ahead and make sure you copy exactly what we have. Remember, we make and take tape diagrams and we're finding out about. That's why we have our squiggly equal sign. So take a minute to copy that down so we can get started on number, letter B. Okay, so here's letter B. It wants to know exactly how many cookies did Connie and Esther bake. What's different about this one is that it wants to know exactly how many did they bake. So if I look back up at my information, um, number one, it says Connie baked 144 cookies. Let me try a quick tape diagram to show Connie's 144 cookies. Then we have Esther. She baked 49 more cookies than Connie. So I'm going to redraw my Esther's tape diagram in letter B. She had 144 plus an additional 49. So I'm going to add on to my tape diagram here. And I'm going to put 49 inside. So this is helping me realize that Esther baked more cookies and 49 more cookies. I want to know exactly how many cookies did Connie and Esther bake. So I know Connie baked 144 cookies. So I'm going to put 144 over here. Now how many did Esther bake all together? Well, if I have 144 and 49 more, let me do a quick addition problem here to show how many that Esther made. 4 plus 9, we just did that, was 13. So I'm going to put my 3 down and carry my 1. 1 plus 4 is 5. 5 plus 4 is 9. I don't need to bring anything up top because it is a one-digit answer. 1 plus 4 plus 4 was a one-digit answer, so I dropped my 1 down. So Esther made exactly, I'm going to draw it down here, 193 cookies. So if I want to know exactly how many they both baked together, that means I'm going to combine them. When I'm combining, that means I'm adding, so I'm simply adding 144, that stands for Connie's cookies, plus Esther's 193. Make sure I put my operation. What's 4 plus 3? 4 plus 3 is 7. 4 plus 9 is 13. OK, 
carry my one up top, and one plus one is two, and two plus one is three. So, exactly how many cookies did Connie and Esther bake? 30 to 37, let me write that in a sentence. So I'm gonna write Connie and Esther baked How many cookies was it? 337 cookies. Remember, I'm writing it as a sentence. Make sure you have your answers as a sentence. Check your partners and make sure they have theirs written as a sentence. Everybody needs to make sure that they're writing a sentence so we know exactly what we're talking about. That's letter B. In just a second, go ahead and copy all this down if you didn't follow along with us as we were going. And we're going to go over letter C. Okay, number one, letter C. Is your answer reasonable? Compare your estimate from letter A to your answer from B. Write a sentence to explain your reasoning. So what I did here is I wrote my letter A estimate. And that's just my answer from letter A. It was about 330 cookies. My letter B answer was exactly 337 cookies. So is my answer reasonable? Well, does it make sense? Is it close to what is my answer close to what my estimate was? Now, I say yes. I need to write a sentence to explain the reason. So why is it a reasonable answer? It's as simple as saying, yes, my answer is reasonable. And then because, and we want to say why. So my answer is reasonable because, well, is 337 close to 330? Yeah. So I'm just going to put because 337 is close to 300.